Hello, welcome to our cruise as we cruise with God's family. So come on, let's get on board and let's go traveling. We're gonna get our keys. My name is Captain Karen and I'm gonna get our key card so we can get on this vessel. The first thing you must do is get a key card in order to board the ship. And so our key card for today is going to be Romans 8, 16. The Spirit himself testifies with our spirit that we are God's children. What does it mean to be God's children? Hmm, how do we become God's children? Well, as believers, we believe that we receive uh, conviction from the Holy Spirit, teaching us right from wrong so that we can become God's children and do exactly what we're supposed to do under God's eyes. Okay, let's, you know, I think maybe we should talk to the concierge desk. So let's go over to the concierge desk and we'll ask them a few questions. <laughs> That's a good question. How can we become a child of God? Most people become a child of God by just accepting them in, in their heart and in their life. And if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart, then you are a child of God. What are some of the benefits and responsibilities of being a child of God? Do you have any ideas? Hmm. I think the benefit is knowing that I am loved because God loves us all. Is it? You think so? If we look back on verse 14, it explains that those who are led by the Spirit of God became children of God through adoption. Adoption. Whoa. Do you know anybody who's been adopted? And how do you become adopted from God? Well, we become adopted from God by just accepting him in our life. And we become one of his children and he becomes our father. Well, now that we've been to the concierge desk, we got our room key, we got our key card to get on board. We're going to get our other key card. It's going to take us to our cabin. So we're going to go to our cabin and our cabin key card is going to take us through Ephesians 1 and 5. God predestined us for adoption to sonship through Jesus Christ in accordance with his pleasure and will. His pleasure and will. Wow. We get to be God's pleasure? How is that possible? Hmm. I think we're going to think about that. We're going to have to figure out how we are God's pleasure. What did we do? What happens if we defy him? Do we know? Hmm. Will he still love us? Will he still want us as his adopted children? Do you know anyone who's been adopted? I do. I know someone who's been adopted, and they're just as loved as the ones who weren't adopted. Hmm, something to think about. When you become part of God's family and experience a new birth, a new birth, faith and believing in Jesus Christ, who is Jesus Christ? Do you know? <gasps> He's the son of God. Yeah, he's the son of God. So Jesus Christ is the son of God. I'm the daughter of God. God is my heavenly father. And I bet he's yours too. What spiritual blessings have we began to have just from being a child of God? That's something to think about. Maybe you can think about it and go from there. Maybe ask a question. Maybe you can ask your parents. Ask them, what is unity? And why is it so very important to God? I think God wants us to all be on his, um, be on one accord and believe in him and do the right thing. What is the right thing? Hmm. So do we believe in God or do we have fear? Do we? Hmm, I don't have any fear because I believe in God. I believe God removed all that fear from me. Hmm, how about you? I tell you what, why don't we get ready for a song? If you know the words, sing along with it. It's bye, bye, 
by fear. So if you know this song, please sing along with us. All right, and I'll look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.